T wave is the positive deflection after each QRS complex. It represents ventricular repolarization. Characteristics of normal T wave are upright in all leads except AVR and V1. Amplitude less than 5 mm in limb leads. Less than 10 mm in precordial leads. Specifically, 10 mm in males and 8 mm in females. T wave abnormalities are peak T waves, inverted T waves, biphasic T waves, and flattened T waves. Differential diagnosis of peak T wave include hyperkalemia, early phase of myocardial infarction, prinzmetal angina, early repolarization, left ventricular hypertrophy, left bundle branch block, and acute pericarditis. Tall, narrow, and symmetrically peaked T waves are characteristically seen in hyperkalemia. Broad asymmetrically peaked, or hyperacute T waves are seen in the early stages of ST elevation myocardial infarction. Hyperacute T waves often precede the appearance of ST elevation in Q waves. Hyperacute T wave may appear normal in size, if the preceding QRS complex is of a small amplitude. The normal T wave in V1 is inverted. Although upright T wave in V1 can be a normal variant, a new upright and tall T wave in V1 is considered abnormal. This finding indicates a high likelihood of coronary artery disease. Differential diagnosis of inverted T waves include myocardial ischemia and infarction, Wellens syndrome, bundle branch blocks, strain patterns in ventricular hypertrophy, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, pulmonary embolism, and increased intracranial pressure. Inverted T wave may be a normal finding in children. A single inverted T wave inversion in lead 3 or AVF can be considered a normal variant. New T wave inversion compared with prior EKG is always abnormal. Pathological T wave inversion is usually symmetrical and at least 3 mm deep. T wave inversions due to myocardial ischemia or infarction occur in contiguous leads based on the anatomical location of the abnormal area. Leads 2, 3 and AVF represent inferior. Leads V2 to V4 represents anterior, and leads 1 AVL, V5 and V6 represents lateral. Dynamic T wave inversions are seen with acute myocardial ischemia. Fixed T wave inversions in association with pathological Q waves are observed following myocardial infarction. In discordant pattern left bundle branch block, T wave inversion and ST segment depression can be observed in leads with dominant R wave, V5, V6, 1 and AVL. This is an expected finding, even in the absence of ischemia. Similarly, in right bundle branch block pattern, T wave inversion may be seen in right sided leads, V1 to V3. Left ventricular hypertrophy produces T wave inversion in the lateral leads 1 AVL, V5 and V6, with a similar morphology to that seen in left bundle branch block, also known as left ventricular strain pattern. Similarly, right ventricular hypertrophy produces right ventricular strain pattern, T wave inversion in the right precordial leads V1 to V3 and also in inferior leads 2-3 in AVF. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is associated with deep T wave inversions in precordial leads. Acute right heart strain secondary to massive pulmonary embolism produces a similar pattern to right ventricular hypertrophy. Textbook finding in massive pulmonary embolism is S1Q3 T3 pattern, where S wave in lead 1. Q wave and T wave inversion in lead 3 can be observed. A sudden rise in intracranial pressure produce widespread deep T wave inversions with a bizarre morphology. Combined positive and negative T waves in the same lead are called biphasic T waves. Two main causes of biphasic T waves are hypokalemia and myocardial ischemia. 
In hypokalemia, initial negative deflection is followed by the terminal positive deflection. In myocardial ischemia, biphasic T waves may be seen as an initial positive deflection followed by terminal negative deflection. In Wellens syndrome, two patterns of T wave abnormalities are observed. In type A, biphasic T waves with the initial positive deflection and the terminal negative deflection can be seen in leads V2 and V3. T waves evolve over time from a type A to a type B pattern, where T waves are deep and inverted symmetrically. Wellens syndrome is highly specific for critical stenosis of the left anterior descending artery. Flattened T waves are a non-specific finding, but may represent ischemia if dynamic or in contiguous leads, or electrolyte abnormality if generalized. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and healthy.